It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at something relatively new. I picked these up in Iceland and they're Spam Fritters. No clue as to what these will taste like. I'm wondering if I, in my life have I ever eaten a tin of Spam. I don't think I've ever opened a, a tin of Spam or bought a tin of Spam in my lifetime. So I think this might be the first time in my life that I've, I've eaten Spam. Now Spam was a product from the war really, uh, rationing, where it was a cheap way and a nutritional kind of way of feeding the soldiers and people on rations who couldn't go to war. Kids would eat this, wives would eat this, husbands, men, women, everybody would eat this during the war. So they turned it into a fritter. So uh, a spam piece covered in deliciously light and crispy golden batter. So I'm gonna stick them in the air fryer. I'm gonna put two. Get two in the air fryer now. and see what they're like. Here we go. That they look pretty good. I'm gonna go 20 minutes. Okay, so I will be back when these Spam fritters are cooked. They should be pretty tasty. Okay, so these Spam fritters are ready. Let's get them out of the air fryer. It's just gone off, there they are. Golden brown, which we uh, which we like. Oh, you can hear them. Have a listen. Bit of a sizzle going on. So I'm going to cut these in half now. So oh, they're uh, nice and tough. I put them in for the 20 minutes they asked for. Perhaps, perhaps the air fryer made them a bit too crispy. But do you know what? I like a, I like a bit of crispy batter. For me, that's cooked to perfection. So what do we get? A little thin case of batter, which I'm really impressed with. And loads of spam. Could have been the other way round. Could have been loads of batter and it could have been a little bit of spam in the middle. But no, they went with a proper job. They give you loads of spam and a little bit of batter. So without further ado, let's... Um, they smell a little bit like hamburger. I mean, it is, it is diced ham, it is. You could, you could get a bun, cut some lettuce, some cucumber, loads of mayo. You could make a, your own hamburger out of this. Batter is lovely and crispy. Quite salty. The batter reminds me of fish and chip or, or fish batter, battered fish, battered cod. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. It kind of reminds me of a sausage in batter. I mean, we're talking diced ham here. Diced pork. Pork, sausage in batter. You're not too far away here, are you? I picked up some of the Harry Ramston's sausages. 
about a month or two ago and the sausage was grey and I was talking about in the review can you remember when the sausages in sausage and batters used to be pink well if you want something that is a bit ham like a bit pork like and is pink in the middle then look no further than these spam fritters Ideally, you could grab a load of sauce, bun a load of sauce in here, which I'll probably do with the second one. But I'm eating it on its own to give the product a, a fair review, you know, a, a, a look at it's supposed to be, you know, like a naked review of this product. I coat this in vinegar. Coat this in vinegar. I wouldn't be surprised, and it, it probably has already happened, I wouldn't be surprised to find these in fish and chip shops up and down the country. We've seen sausage and batter, Mars bars in batter. We've seen rissoles, saveloys. This would go really well in a fish and chip shop. Deep fried spam fritter. I bet it's happened. So. Let's have a look at the ingredients then. Uh, pork meat, 45%. 45% pork meat. What, the, what is the rest of this thing then if it's 45% pork meat? Um, wheat flour, wheat starch, rapeseed oil, rice flour, water, potato starch, salt, baking agents, two E numbers in there, dextrose, spice extract, sugar, skim, milk powder, preservatives, wee powder, onion powder, spice, yeast, extract, yeast stabilizer, and then two more E numbers. I'm really surprised it's only 45% meat. I thought it'd be an awful lot more than that. Well, that has properly shocked me. I'm sticking there just as proof because some of you may not rem may not believe me. There's only 45% meat. Okay, I'm ready to rate this then. Batter's lovely and crunchy. The 45% pork tastes like a sausage and batter. I'm going to cover the other one in some brown sauce and vinegar. But yeah, um, it's the type of thing you've had a few beers on a Friday night, your wife's gone out or your husband's gone out, whatever it is these days. You know, finishing your beer and you fancy something to eat. Grab the air fryer, chuck some chips in the air fryer with a couple of spam fritters. Bang, job, jobs are good. It's a six out of ten. Six out of ten from me, Little Craft Beer. Hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.